Hey guys, and welcome to Feb Vlog Day 12. It is publication day. I'm so excited, I can't believe it. I, it's actually almost 12 o'clock. I've been editing vlogs and like uploading yesterday's vlog and everything. I'm up a bit early today actually, because um, I'm not gonna have my laptop all day because I'm living at the hotel. But I have just been packing up all of my stuff. Um, yeah, I'm super late checking out. I hope I'm not in trouble. But today I'm heading over to my publishers um, offices to sign my first ever like copies of my book so they're sending them out to a few like competition winners and things like that um, so I've got to go and sign 50 copies there and then we're going out for a celebratory lunch which I'm super super excited about I'll do a quick outfit of the day before I leave although to be honest you kind of seen it before in different formats um, but today I'm wearing my Koopals, um like shirt jacket my Sandro lace and kind of nude shirt which this lighting in this hotel room is terrible for filming i'm sorry guys um then i have on my zara black jeans and my um ysl leopard pumps and obviously the my handbag this is the same as yesterday but i'm also really really excited tonight because i'm going to the 50 shades of gray premiere with my friend Ree. super excited so i have my high heels in my bag i needed like a day to evening outfit because i'm not going to be able to um come back and change because i have meetings like all afternoon um so i'm so excited about that and i'm also i've been like on twitter all morning because you guys have been tweeting me pictures like of the book arriving and picking up your wristbands for the meetups i've literally wasted like two hours on twitter just being like oh my god i love you guys um and like the book's here um so yeah if you have been tweeting me um and i've been replying i shouldn't have been i should have been doing work and getting ready and now i'm late and i'm probably gonna be in trouble for checking out late but it's just so awesome to see you guys excited about the book and see you guys actually holding it in your hands. It's so cool, I can't even believe it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and sign some copies now, I guess. So I've just arrived in the offices and this is like the coolest thing I've ever seen because I've only ever seen two copies of my book at any one time. Um, and there is a massive pile on the table. I now have to sign all these, that is quite scary. Um, but amazing, they look so pretty together. Look at the purple down the side and all the stars. This is a very, very exciting moment, guys. So, I just went for an amazing lunch with my editor and her assistant and my book agent, and it was so amazing. I didn't vlog it because it's kind of not really appropriate, but something happened before lunch. I went to the office and I was signing the copies of the book. Someone gave me a little phone call. And she ignored it. And said, and I ignored it twice, and was like, oh, is it important, Mike? You are still calling me like five times. Mike's like, I'm outside the restaurant. I'm surprising you for lunch. Hello. Best husband ever came to London for the day just to meet me for lunch. Just to meet for lunch. And there's this cool thing in the book world that they say to you when on the day that your book comes Hello. out, that's better. And they say, happy publishing day. Or happy, happy publish, publish, publish day. I was like, it's like happy birthday. I've got like a new thing to celebrate. This, so is, awesome. this is your first candle. Um, it's case. my first candle. You are so MDF, nice. are you going shopping? Uh, yes, I'm going to find presents for friends. Yeah, we've got friends' birthdays. I've got a couple of meetings. I'm actually a bit late, so I'm going to depart this area. And you, you're going that way. Down that way to Regent right. Street. Yep, okay. I'm going up Shaft Street Avenue that way. See you later, alligator. Look who down I suite. found again. Hello. Did you have? I've got like an extra half an hour. So Mike just walked and gave me his coat because I'm not. Oh, look, we're coming out to Lululemon. Stupid. There's a Lululemon in London. I've never been into it. Should we go in? I don't think I need. It's really expensive. I'm going to Dallas. Yeah, we'll go to America soon. So. Oh, expensive. Yeah, um, I went but, to J Crew and nearly bought many things at J Crew, but the but issue is we're going so to America. Expensive. So why bother when we're going to America? Um, yeah. So. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, so anyway, anyway yeah, yeah. Um, so we are freezing because I didn't bring a coat, well, so Mike no. gave me his coat because he's You're amazing. Not anymore. I'm not anymore, but I was. At least you've got a jumper. I'm stupid enough to come out with like a shirt on. It wasn't that cold yesterday. So we're going to look for a statement necklace because I um, feel a bit underdressed for the old premiere tonight. Um, before well, my, in my long other coat. meeting. Mike's been shopping. Mike's bought his mum's birthday present. When was the last time you bought a present for your mum? Uh, Look at the little lemon window. I want it. I want it. Wait till America. <laughs> um, so, what, when was the last time you bought your mum's birthday present? I'd say since we've been going out. <laughs> so, seven and a half years ago? Yeah. Very, very impressed. Jo Malone, good choice. Got what? Bath oil? Bath oil, a candle. room scent, and a candle. But I'm wow. not saying what they are in case one watches. Oh yeah, she, I don't think she watches the vlogs. You anymore. never know. You never know, she might be. Oh, I like that. This is tempting shopping. Look at that yellow, yellowness. I like the yellowness a lot. Anyway, 
Um, so yeah, that is what's happening now. Apparently Mike wants a coffee, but he doesn't actually drink coffee. Well, I say coffee, I mean like <laughs> so hot chocolate or something you want, like Mike's like, I need a coffee. I'm like, you mean hot chocolate? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, much. I don't really drink coffee. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to H&M to try and find a statement necklace, and then we're gonna go and get some coffee slash hot chocolate. We've stopped for a little coffee and macaroons coffee. in Ladere. Oh, you've got tea. You didn't get hot chocolate, you got Darjeeling. Because you like the film, blatantly. Um, I got a little cappuccino and we got four macaroons. So we got salted caramel, lemon, pistachio, and a special Valentine's Day one. So romantical. Would you do like them in one go? I would order some more. I've just got to Leicester Square and I've said goodbye to Mike. Um, and I've got one more meeting in this hotel. But it's right next door to where the premiere is tonight and it's mental. Like absolutely mental and noisy. So I'm gonna try and get in the hotel. <laughs> what is going on? So I'm here with Bree. <laughs> and we are on there's a grey carpet. And it sounds like Jamie Dornan has arrived or is here somewhere. Um, there's a lot of people back there screaming for Jamie Dornan right now. A lot of people waiting. Off we go, I guess. We've just sat down. There are Lindor chocolates on the seats. Loving it. How many are in here? Do you know? Is there like four or five, maybe? I'm hoping. I'm hoping for five. And this is the ticket for tonight. It says, Mr. Grey, we'll see you now. Hello. Ree hasn't even read the book. Why are you even at the premiere? You haven't read the book. I know, but I want to see the film. You, you, you're going to read the book after seeing the film, I guarantee. Um, so this is where we're sitting, like right up here. Great view. Um, this is the director, I believe, being interviewed on Red Carpet, or the grey carpet now. Um, and the seats are, our seats are leopard print. Yeah, loving it. Got my, got my Fifty Shades of Grey shoes on. Appropriate. And just generally quite excited to see the film, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think Mike's having dinner with his friend. I think he's quite glad I didn't I didn't have to drag him to see this at the cinema because that would have been. I thought he's so awkward. He would have been literally. literally. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't have to be involved. He would have been so embarrassed seeing this. But yeah, that is what is happening. I'm excited. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you to Universal. Thank you to these wonderful people here. I hope you enjoyed the film. We made it for you guys. Gentlemen. Bottoms, to be honest. 
dark green and light green. That surely, was they, surely if they were going to be like, you know, if it was real big budget, they should have had 50 shades of dark green. Yeah. You know, or maybe it was just a really subtle 50 shades of green, just the light too. No, then that would be like ombre, but this was like one colour and then another. Rubbish. Only two shades. I'm home and the poopies are here. Is everybody very excited? Oh, Poogaloo! This is Piglet's favourite thing to do with my... Oh, Pooga! These guys are going cray cray. I missed you all. Piggy, come here. Come here, Piggy. Oh, Piggy. She's like, no. Oh, attack, attack, attack. That's it for today, guys. I'm super sleepy and I'm going to bed. I love you all. Best day in the world. Bye! Say bye. Bye. Pig. Bye. Good morning guys and welcome to Feb Vlog day 11. I can't actually quite believe it. My book launch is tomorrow. So excited. I stayed in a hotel last night and um, I thought I would do a quick hotel room tour.